Hey y'all, just some Makai Catfish. I am filming today's video intro a little bit after the fact. I went out late last night, and by the time I got done fishing, I was so tired. I said, you know what, I don't want to fool with it. I'll just film it today. But I had went out last night as kind of a, a last minute, spur of the moment trip to basically try to redeem myself because I had gotten skunked the two previous trips before that. I've had some bad juju on me or something lately. I was coming home from work on Sunday night. I work over in North Carolina and my car broke down and left me stranded over there. So 700 bucks later, I got my car fixed and got home and I go out on Tuesday afternoon, I go hit Watts Bar and get completely skunked. I mean, not even a peck at my baits from dinks or anything. I mean, just flat out skunked. So I go out yesterday morning, afternoon, it's kind of midday, and I go hit Fort Loudon, and I think oh, I'll catch some fish over there. Once again, completely skunked, nothing. So I thought, man, I gotta catch a fish this week. Surely I'm not gonna put out a video if I don't, right? So I go out late last night. I got on the water about 11 p.m. and just anchored down in a creek mouth, and just hoping for the best. You know, I had a variety of baits. I mean, I've the last three trips out, I have used skipjack, crappie. Threadfin shad, gizzard shad, bluegill. I mean, I've tried a variety of baits and absolutely nothing has been working for me no matter where I've been. But last night I anchored down the creek mouth. I was using some gizzard shad and some threadfin shad and I finally got on some fish. Here they are. There we go. There we go, fish on. Fish on. But he's pulling. He's pulling. about to doze off. It's been so slow. It's just been dead out here tonight and actually been dead for me all week. So I've gotten skunked on my two previous trips. I mean just completely skunked. Nothing. Not even dinks. Hopefully I can get this one in just so I can not get skunked tonight. <laughs> Bad fish right there, isn't it? Find my glove. Didn't even got it out yet because I wasn't sure I was going to need it the way things have been going. <laughs> got part of his intestines hanging out there. That's uh, unusual, but there he is. <laughs> Finally got one. I'll set him on this board a second here. Let's just get a length on him. He's pretty good fish. Alright y'all, there he is. One more look. <laughs> Nice fish, worth the wait. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Goodbye. We don't. Let's do it again if we can. <laughs> Got hit again. Got hit. It's on this rod. There he goes. There he goes. He's swimming. Business is picking up here. It's not even been five minutes since I caught that last fish, so it's encouraging. Maybe they're getting a little bit more active and moving in here. It's a nice night out here, but that wind's a little chilly. Where can go now? Wish I brought my jacket with me tonight. It was 70 something degrees here earlier. We're getting into spring now, it's getting pretty out. And get out in the daytime, there's a million boats out here, but you come out at night and got the place to yourself. That's how I like it. Mm. <laughs> 
cold before and I'll get a good splash on me there. <laughs> this one ate a gizzard shad head right here. The only gizzard shad I got tonight, I've got a bunch of thread fins. I only had one gizzard, so I put the head on this rod and had the body section on the other. That's what that other fish had ate. I was actually able to get it back, so I've got I've still got that body section on that run. All right, not a bad little fish, a bigger size dink anyway. <laughs> Let's let him go. Didn't get my bait back on that one, so I'm gonna have to put some thread fin shad on that rod. All right, guys, there's that bait. This is mini chunks of thread fin shad as I can fit on there just to put as much scent on that bait as possible. I'm going to drop it down, suspend it a couple feet off the bottom. I'm sitting in 38 feet deep right now in this creek mouth. I'm just trying to catch these fish as they move up in here to feed tonight. moving <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't a hard thump or anything I just saw the lights off in the distance there they were going <laughs> oh, that's a little feller here this one ate those pieces of thread fin shad well, there he is. Just a little dink, but you know, it'd been, I don't know, 30 minutes or so since I got them last two fish, so it's kind of been a kind of been a grind. So I'm happy to get that fish. <laughs> Let's get these baits back down there. Oh, there goes the fish. There goes the fish right there now. another one I didn't feel didn't feel it bite look at this <laughs> I probably didn't see that on camera there was a little small there's another one it's a small catfish right up here at the surface in the light I can't tell if it's a channel or blue <laughs> Another dink. Let him go. And see if we can get maybe one more. I am getting kind of tired, and uh, the bite has just been slow tonight. It's been, I don't know, I don't even know how long it's been since that last fish. It's been a while, but uh, nights like this where I'm tired and uh, not getting a lot of action, it is tough to stay awake. But I'm gonna try to stick it out a little while longer and see if I can get on a big one. All right, y'all, that was it. As you could see from the video, the action was very limited. I did get that one good fish, but beyond that, it was a slow night. You know, some nights you go out and it's just on, like gangbusters, man. They're just one bite after another, but sometimes it's a grind, and last night was certainly a grind. The last three trips out have been a grind, but you know what? It was nice to catch a fish again. Hopefully, when I get back home from work next week, I'll get out there and be able to find them a little bit more consistently again. But today, it's a beautiful day out here, but the wind is starting to blow now, and it's supposed to get pretty hard this afternoon. It's supposed to be some 25, 30 mile an hour gusts, so I said I'm not going to fish today. But what I am going to do is clean my kayak. This thing, I'll show you here, it is looking rough. I have not washed this kayak since, I don't know, sometime last summer i don't know exactly when so uh it is it is long overdue to say the least so i'm going to get the hose and a scrub brush and get this thing washed and then i'm going to till up my garden over here and plant some free food so hopefully y'all enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching